Greetings to all. Welcome to our last video on uh, views. And today I will just show you how to make a small change to a view. Suppose you wrote a view, you did a mistake and you like to, or you like to add something to your view. In fact, when we wrote our last view, we were supposed to show the year and we noticed no we did not show that year so we will go back to the view and try to add the attribute for the year the name of the view is locked in lecturer courses details so we will head to that view we are now currently in apex to so go there we need to go to sql workshop once you are in sql workshop we need to choose the correct schema in our case it is student marks database we have chosen it from there we go to object browser and in the object browser there are tables and they are views and sequences and indexes and so on in our case we would like to work on a view. So we select views. Which view did we want to modify slightly? Is the one logged in lecturer courses details. The view has been displayed. The change can be made inside the code. Now that we are in the code, what did we say we wanted to do? We wanted to add the attribute year. That attribute is coming from the table lecturer courses. So let's go and add the attribute. We can quickly modify using the, the style that is already here. So I can choose lecturers dot, no, it's lecturers courses lecturers courses is this one so i can just copy it lecturers courses copy and from there i will paste it here lecturer courses have been pasted and we were saying lecturers courses dot year to say which year did this lecturer teach this course and we want it as yeah that will be the name we can now go up and write in the output the result the colon that we want to output it will be the colon here and let's not forget the comma to separate the different attributes what did we do we added a new attribute lecturers courses the year when the lecturer was teaching that course, I think we should put it in capital since all of them are in capital character. And uh, let's not forget the comma. We added that attribute. From there, we also went to add it on the first line. And uh, that's all. If you want to make a change to a view, you need to come to the code. Let us save and compile to see if our change was legal. Any mistake? No, it is green. It is green, which means the change was correct. From here, we can then go ahead and simply end our demo. That was our last video on views. We hope to see you in the next videos where we will show you how to use those views. We thank you.